Game Jacked and Nerdy fans, Jeremy here with another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing one of the latest releases from the good people at Hot Toys. This is the 1-6 scale King Shark from James Gunn's Suicide Squad. Uh, I'm really excited to open up this one, but before we jump into it, as always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you guys never miss out on a video. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you do enjoy our content, make sure you check out our Instagram and our eBay store. You, know, you never know what you might find on those channels. But let's jump into this one. Now, before we uh, see the actual figure, I just wanted to take a moment to just show you the box art here. Um, obviously, we've got the very retro design springing from the movie here but one really cool feature i noticed when i pulled it out of the shipper box was here on the top we've got this really cool design here including hands so i always just go throw that in there let's just, let's crack her open i was a big fan of james gunn's the suicide squad the funny thing was I enjoyed it a lot more the second time I watched it than I did the first time. I think the first time it was a bit overwhelming, the uh, level of content in that film. But definitely once we've watched it the second time, I did enjoy it a lot more. That being said, no matter whether it was the first, the second, the third, I always love King Sharp. And Sylvester Stallone did do a fantastic job with voicing that character. So let's open this up here and we'll have a look at the grand Poobah design. Here we go. They haven't done a lot of figures from uh, James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. Not like the first one done by David Ayer. Uh, they've only done two characters from this film. Uh, I wish they did a few more, but that being said, I am really glad they did King Shark. So this is quite a basic figure, it, obviously, because it's a very basic character. However, the detail, as always, with Hot Toys is absolutely fantastic. I love the skin texture of this it's very rough and gravelly kind of what you would almost expect a shark skin to feel like um obviously they've got all the little teeth little num nums there um he articulates a little bit in the arms but not very much at all that's pretty much all the real articulation you get in the hand in the uh, arms there I love his little board shorts. I think they're really, really cool. I love the, the material is quite, um, quite good on that. It's not flimsy or anything. Um, you know, they've, they've put little rips and tears in it. Here, little loops. The fin feels really sturdy. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. This is actually quite a good figure in terms of just, you know, the overall appearance of it. Uh, as I said, you, know, you, know, you can you can move the feet around a little bit and the arms. Not a huge amount of articulation, as I said, but that's okay. Um, now, it, obviously, it hasn't come with lots of gadgets and gizmos because King Shark doesn't use any of those. However, it has got a few little... Um, where you got alternate hands that you can interchange on him. Uh, so you can have him gripping a few things. The only accessories that it comes with is his book. So you can have him sitting here in your collection, reading. Because you know, we all know he's very smart. And it does come with a little Starro as well. So you can almost have him num numbing on a Starro. But all in all, you can just have him in here going hand. So that's pretty cool. So I do I do like this figure. Like I said, it's um it's more of an accompanying piece to the rest of the collection. Obviously, you wouldn't have this as a centerpiece. Uh, like I said, it doesn't come with a lot, but 
I do think it will sit very nicely in there. Once I get the um, accompanying Peacemaker figure, you know, I think it will look really good having Peacemaker and King Shark in there. Like I said, they didn't do a lot of figures from this movie. I wish they did a couple of others. It would have been nice for them to maybe do uh, an Idris Elba uh, Deadshot um, you know, or a Rick Flag, or what? You know, one of the other, maybe even Ratcatcher. I don't know. Maybe yeah. Maybe having King Shark and Ratcatcher together, um, the two friends, that would have been pretty cool. But I like want the say, Weasel. Oh yeah, Weasel. Weasel would have been a good one as well. You know, so they could have done a few of those extra characters. I think they, you know, they would have sold quite a few. Um, but that being said. I love this figure. It is adorable. I love King Shark. I love him as a character. I loved Sylvester Stallone voicing him. And James Gunn did a fantastic job with that film. So I, th this is going to be in the, in the cabinets with the rest of the Suicide, Suicide Squad figures. Uh, you know, as I said, Peacemaker. I will put, obviously, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. Uh, and obviously there will be the other ones from the David Ayer film as well. But I love this figure. Not a lot of articulation, not a lot of accessories. In my opinion, though, for this figure, it is just absolutely perfect the way it is. And uh, let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. Is this a figure that you guys are interested in adding to your collection? Uh, do you, you know, what do you think of the quality? I'll be interested to know what everyone else thinks. Hit me up in the comment section below. And also, if uh, look, as I said before, check out our Instagram, our eBay store. Mrs. Jack to Nerdy has been very, very hard at work doing mystery box videos for you guys. We've got plenty more coming over the next few weeks. And all the items that you see in those videos will be going up on our eBay store available for you guys to purchase. The link will be down in the description of this video, so make sure you check that out. And uh, until next time, guys, stay jacked, stay nerdy, and hand.